Okay, so we're gonna start with the first hairstyle, which is a big one, like, one piece uh, dust braid. And the things you're gonna need for this uh, one is you're gonna need like a um, rat tail comb. Uh, depending on how big or poofy you want, you're gonna want some um, bobby pins. And then I have my carabiner of hair ties. And I'm probably only gonna need one just because I'm only doing one. So that is uh, the tools that you need. And then um, we're gonna go on to how to do it. So first things first, what you're gonna do is you're going to want to have them tilt their head back just a little bit and grab some hair on top of the head. Make sure you don't get your comb tangled in it. And then you're going to want to brush it out to make sure there are no tangles unless you're going for a big, messy uh, type of Dutch braid. I am not like that though. I like my hair, like the hair to be nice and secure. And just go ahead and, and divide it with your fingers into three individual pieces and just pull them nice and through. Now, the difference between a French braid and a Dutch braid is that with French braid, you go over each other, but with a Dutch braid, you go under. So you're just going to do a regular French braid, but inside out. And as with a French braid, you're going to want to add in pieces. <laughs> mostly done but like uh, the part uh, the halfway part you could um, stop it and just ponytail it and just have it be a half up half down but I'm going to continue to go ahead and do the Dutch braid the entire way down so once you have um, ended with the um, ponytail or with the braid you can ponytail it I left the ends of her hair out just because I had curled them and so they still looked really nice so I ended up leaving them out um, if you want to go for a more sophisticated look and not a like put together like really tight one you can simply just pancake it and pancake it is really the edges of the hair and just simply pull it out and it creates kind of like a bigger more voluptuous effect on the hair and you can just simply take you know, a little bit or you can take the entire chunk of hair and go ahead and pull it out and make it loose. So if you just want to go ahead and stop here then that's totally fine for a very fun and kind of sporty look. This is what it looks like. I don't know how well you can see it because of the, um, her hair just being so dark but it is definitely pancaked a lot and I will show you guys a close up really quick here of it um, but this is the sporty uh, thing that you can do with the Dutch braid. Okay, for the second way that you can do this, you can um, simply just go ahead and put it up into a bun, and I'm just going to be swirling it around into a nice um, bun. Now, the thing that you want to watch for is to make sure that you hide the um, ponytail, just because then it looks more natural of a look, and you're just gonna wanna go ahead and grab some bobby pins, you guys, or um, bobby pins, not bobby pins, you're gonna need some uh, bobby pins. You're just gonna wanna pin that in place until it feels about secure. So for a more of a, um, also kind of an elegant look, but more of a everyday look, you can just simply take out the ponytail at the end and um, just kind of undo the ponytail to the point of uh, where you would like to stop it. I'm going to stop it about halfway up the head, so I'll probably take to about here and then just simply pull down everything else and if it needs to be a little bit tighter you can just simply grab the ends of the hair. Maybe just do one three strand braid and then go ahead and detail it. You want to not have the ponytail visible, you can just simply take a section of hair and you can um, just wrap it around the ponytail. For the next hairstyle, 
I am gonna just go ahead and part her hair down the middle. We did three hairstyles, I think, of just one big step braid. And um, now we're gonna be doing two different hairstyles on um, with two Dutch braids. Okay, for the next um, step of the double Dutch, um, not the really double, it's just gonna be two, uh, dub, uh, yeah, inside out, so Dutch braid. Um, hair, French, I can't talk right now. Um, a, yeah, a double Dutch braid. So one on each side, because uh, we parted it down the middle, and you're just gonna do the same steps that you did on the big one, but you're gonna cut that in half and do it on each side of the head. And just like with math, what you have to, what you do to one side, you have to do the other side. So now it's on the next side of the hair. Yay, algebra! are done on both sides um, I'm just going to go ahead and pancake them and I'm not gonna do it too much I'm just gonna do kind of a light pancake on this one uh, but these hair styles can be done on anybody with uh, any length of hair except if you have like really really short hair this is probably good for about shoulder length and longer hair just because of the amount of hair that is needed to do um, this and now you're just going ahead you're going to, going to want to take it, and with these, I'm going to do more of a like a Princess Leia on her. So I'm just going to be pinning as I um, wrap so that it doesn't collapse on itself. And um, I am by no means a professional, so everything you see is just simply me. Okay. And then you're just going to do the same thing on the other side. 